Good morning, Hope City. Welcome to the Daily Devo. We have two more devos for you on spiritual warf- warfare. And we're going to go into the flagship of Scripture about spiritual warfare in Ephesians chapter 6 today. And we're going to take these next, uh, we're going to take this spiritual armor that we're given for this warfare and, and kind of unpackage that for you in these next two devos. Today, we're going to start in verse 10 of chapter 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against cosmic powers, over this present darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you might be able to withstand in the evil day. So we're going to take that section today with you, and tomorrow we're going to take the actual armor that we're to put on. But here's the invitation. First of all, he says, this is absolutely necessary that we, um, that we be strong in the Lord. That is something that we can exercise. That's something that we need to be proactive in. Just like if you're going to be into physical fitness, you got to be proactive. Physical fitness doesn't happen just by you wanting to be strong. It actually takes exercise. It takes discipline to do that. To be strong in the Lord in the strength of his might is a discipline at a spiritual level where I am strengthening myself in what God has declared and what God has said. His authority has authority in my life and I'm walking that out in obedience because I believe it. That's called faith. So, In this, be strong in the Lord, put on the whole armor of God, that you might be able to stand against the schemes. This idea of schemes in Ephesians here speaks of the strategies of the enemy. You have an enemy, Satan, who is strategizing your failure, your destruction. We're told that the enemy has come to rob, to steal, and to destroy. That is Satan's game plan for you. If you fall in alignment or in agreement with Satan's game plan, those are the things that you're going to reap. You're going to reap pain, suffering, death, and destruction because that's Satan's game plan. Here we're told that he is a scheming, he is strategizing against you. And God says, I want you to be strong in the Lord and I want you to put on the armor because this warfare is real. Satan is literally strategizing how to take you out. But God has not left you defenseless. God has not left you to an abandonment. In fact, in verse 12, he's going to point out to us, Paul, he says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against authorities and against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil. There's a spiritual force, a demonic force of evil that is strategizing against you to try to destroy you, to try to undermine what God has declared and what God has for you. So the armor of God is what we use in that warfare. But I want to unpackage this to understand this. He says, you don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Did you know that your battles in personal relationships is not really the battle? The battle is the influence in those personal relationships. The warfare that you're fighting against right now is not against your parents or against your family or against friends or against even those who would call them your enemy. It's not against people. It's against spiritual forces. And so I want to elevate this warfare to understand and to see it from where it really resides. And it resides with the enemy. It resides in the spiritual realm. And the spiritual realm is influencing. And the Bible calls that influence, it can become strongholds in a person's life. It becomes a way of thinking that's not biblical, but it's worldly, it's earthly, it's sensual. And those structures, those lies are being built up. And so when we fight against people, we're missing the real fight. For we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities and power. That means that we can do this warfare piece totally different. Your enemy is not your enemy. That's why the Bible says love your enemies. Because that person is not your enemy. The forces behind that person and what keeps that person in uh, those demonic strongholds, that's your enemy. And did you know that you have weapons that can wage against that? Did you know you have power? That you can be strong in the Lord and the power that you have as a, as a blood-bought Bride of Christ triumphs over the spiritual forces. And so next, tomorrow, we're going to talk about what does this armor look like? 
But first, I want to just point to you and realize your enemy is not the people that are around you. Your enemy is the spiritual forces that influence people. And what we want to do is we can wage warfare and say and bring um, bring truth to people's life. We can bring the Christ, the, the beauty of Christ to people's life through the power of the Spirit when we recognize where the real warfare is at. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Therefore, my friends, let's get to taking up the whole of our God that we may, because the gates of hell cannot prevail. We have the testimony of the King of kings and the Lord of lords who has saved sinners to new life. That's our testimony. That's our witness. So let's go wage this warfare and recognize it for what it is. The Lord bless you.